Alrighty then, hello and once again good evening YouTube and once again welcome to my desktop background. Today we are going to take a look at a game that had redefined the world of random racing and that was Autosim. The instantaneous second that I start recording I get a pizza time. Shocking. But this is no normal Autosim. This is Autosim 2! Yes. This is the second Auto Sim game. Um, the original Auto Sim game was a staple of this channel back in 2019. We had a lot of fun with that game, getting Natalie Decker into the chase and all that good stuff. But this, this is going to be a brand new experience. I have not tested this, and I have not been playing much Auto Sim since it got released. Uh, the original version got released in any case because it kind, I felt it kind of got bloated down and like the archaic nature of the original just black or white screen with you know just no visuals whatsoever it was it was real novel and, and, and it felt like it just kind of got weighted down with all the extra stuff so I kind of gave up and I also stopped donating to the patreon because I was wondering why I was sending ten dollars every month to a completed game <laughs> but hey now that they got a second one coming here Maybe we can do it again. Maybe we can do it again. And also, I've got uh, 2005.txt. I have not edited this at all. This is the original file. I don't know what happened to all my um, other versions of this game. Um, all the other versions that I had. I had a lot of really good... Uh, I had a lot of better rebalanced um, drivers so that they didn't come in and be OP from the start and be like, you know, in the 90s. They'd start out, like, lower in the mid-70s. But hey, 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 it's all good. It's all good. We could we could just we could just play the game. Let's play the game. Owner mode. Okay, we're gonna select a team. Okay, there is no teams. It has come to my attention that the Autosim 2 has different mods compared to Autosim 1. So let's try this one more time. Okay, we've got content. Alright, let's do it. So this is 2005. Obviously we're gonna be Chip Ganassi racing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we have a 39 car. It's Bill Elliott. Oh my goodness. And Reed Sorensen. And David Strimmy. Oh my goodness, there's multiple drivers. Uh, for a part-time car. That's creative. I like that. I like that. Casey. Casey is going to be the one that... Um, oh, we got declared points. Hire a second driver. We can hire multiple drivers. Um, and we got a Bush Series team. Look at this. Look at this. We got Reed Sorensen in that car. Jamie McMurray in that car. Um, we can upgrade the driver. That's cool. Hire a second driver. Oh my goodness, there are so many drivers to choose from. I can hire my own driver. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Um, oh look at this. We've got stats. Except he's got nothing in cup series. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, um, I don't even know how much money I have. Can we just... Can we just go to the race center quick? Okay, here we are. Here we are in... Oh, no. Wh where's my... T okay, here's my... Okay, I have no dollars. That's an issue. If I had dollars, that would be helpful. Um, how do we do... Um, okay, so we can create new teams. We can make a G G Ganassi truck team. Ooh, that only costs $100,000. Damn. All right. Um... We have to change okay so I think we have too many cars at this point but we'll keep these cars open for now um, <laughs> that's fine that that's acceptable we've got uh, we've got sponsors that's good that's good that's good that's positive um, how about okay so we've got we have the ability to expand driver info so here's Sterling Marlin he has nothing this year but he has 10 career wins Two career bush wins, but no truck starts. Sad. He also has detailed history. Never mind, he does not have detailed history. Detailed schmeetails, quite frankly. Okay, we're just gonna run a race. And the winner is, oh dear. Oh, it's the truck series. Okay, we start the truck series. Ricky Craven has won the truck series opener. Good for him. Um, we've got, oh, there's so many cars. Oh, we've got DNQs. We've got race notes. JC Stout won the poll, as you do. As you do. Um, very good. All right. Well, that is the end of the truck race. I'm guessing the next race is the bush race. 
Yes. So, McMurray got fourth. Good thing I didn't replace him. <laughs> um, Justin Labonte, 13th. What a king. We've got Wally Dolan back in here. Paul Wolf grabbing a fifth place finish. All right, now we do the Daytona 500. And the 2005 Daytona 500 goes to... Gordon. Fuck. I hate when reality is reality. All right, how'd our team do? Casey Ford. McMurray 37. Oh no, dude. Oh man. Oh man. Did uh did the 39 make this race? Sterling Marlin finished 40 30 21st. I wish I did like how the old system had you know, like your drivers highlighted in yellow. That really did. That honestly did help out a lot. I'm not just fishing for my cars in here. Alright, well apparently the 39 was not a part of the field. Did not bother showing up. Alright, so that's the first week of the year done here. Ricky Craven puts Racing World on notice. Earns first NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series win after two starts. Oh my goodness, and Boyer won his, in his debut. Oh, that's annoying. Mark Martin had a strong run in the number six Ford. Yeah, he finished second in the Daytona 500. Wow, where have I seen this before? Oh, look at all these... Look at all these standings. There's so much content in this game now. I'm so happy that we got this working. Okay, so now let's take a look at our team. So we now have $33,000. That's it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, I guess we better upgrade the car. Error. Insufficient funds. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was hoping we'd get a little bit more money than this, but okay. How about upgrade driver? All right, well in that case, we just do not have money for anything. Okay, now I can figure out what money I need here. Okay, so, um, I still don't have enough money to make a truck team, which I really want to do now. <laughs> just to say that I am. Just to say that I can, all right? Um, where do I go to hire personnel? <laughs> How about we upgrade the car? All right, we have no money. Now, you know what, we're just gonna run a race. Okay. McMurray has won for Rusty Wallace Racing at Rockingham. This is a very realistic game right so far. <laughs> oh, we got that much money. Oh no, since McMurray was driving this car, the 42 wasn't entered. Shit. Uh-oh, well, that's unfortunate. At least Reed Sorensen finished really well in this race. Reed's going to be our championship driver here, it looks like. Um, alright, and next race is Cup Series, Dale Jr. wins at Rockingham, Casey with a 19th place finish, beats McMurray at his best track, now that's what I call impressive. Mark Martin led the most laps but didn't win, god damn dude this game is so realistic. Alright, back to the race center, let's go here, okay, now we have $70,000, I still don't have like enough money to do anything really. Um... I wonder what the uh, the car stats. Okay, the car rating is 74 and the pit crew is 74. Can we improve the pit crew? Or does, is that part of um, upgrading the car? Still don't have sufficient funds to upgrade the car. Oh, here we go. All right, so I need $150,000 in order to upgrade the car by two to five points. I'm just, I guess it's just a dice roll. Um, we can also upgrade the driver for way more. Um, the 39 team I don't think has made a single race. How much money would I get if I shut down this this car? Hire a fourth driver, no. Okay, if I shut down, it, it, it's just a dice roll, it looks like. All right, we're gonna keep the team. We're gonna keep the team for now. Maybe I shouldn't, dude. Maybe I should have Stremmy, Sorensen, and Bill Elliott making starts in this car, but like the car is never showing up to any race. I think they, I think they showed up to Rockingham because I saw four results. Um, is, so where does it say if this is, okay, so we can make this a full-time car versus the 41, which is full-time. We know this because it doesn't have the make full-time button. Well, um, since we can't really do anything, I'm just going to run another race. Uh, Stewart has won for the 33 car. Sorensen's just sucking right now. <laughs> Reed, please. Ooh, Bobby Labonte with a fat dub. Sterling Marlin, we finally got a top 10. We finally got a top 10 in this series. Very good, very good. All right, I, uh, that's acceptable. That's acceptable. And we have, hopefully, enough money to do th something. I have 101,000. I have enough money. I, hey, I can, up, I can open up a truck team. I feel like that's a 
poor decision given the situation that we find ourselves in as a team. Um, but I kind of want to open a truck team, so... <laughs> oh, no. Create new Craftman Truck Series team. Oh, never mind. I have insufficient funds, despite not having insufficient funds. Oh, it's shut down. Shutting down a team gives us... Oh, that gives us the 100000 It costs 175000 Okay. At some point, I will actually read what the text on the screen says. Okay, so that's worth $500,000. I feel like, I'm sorry, Bill. I'm sorry, Reed. I'm sorry, Strimmy. But as it turns out, I kind of need the money. All right, we suddenly have a lot of money. Good. Upgrading Casey time. Okay. So he's got decent driver stats, all things considered. Let's compare him to Marlon, who has six better at intermediate is the same at super speedways. Casey is better at flat tracks and road courses, and they're equal at short tracks. See, Casey's a very solid driver. We should upgrade him. Oh, God. Okay, so that costs money. Let's find out how much that changed. He's gone up one at an intermediate. He's gone up a lot of flat. He's gone up a lot of road courses and a lot of short tracks. Okay, Casey is going to be a Chad at um, Infinium when we finally get there and hopefully hopefully this game has the w the thing where it changes like the schedule around so we um, get more road courses <laughs> at some point here okay we're gonna upgrade the car now that gives him a 77 and an 80 pit crew all right he is suddenly the best car on the team and I still have enough money to open up a Craftsman Truck Series team <laughs> Oh no, there's so many options for numbers. We gotta keep it consistent. I mean, 42 is kind of the team number, but I mean, you, you gotta admit, it's, it's 41. All right, so we've started a truck series team. We've only missed Daytona, so that's fine. Let's find a primary sponsor. Um, Applebee's. Oh, I want Applebee's, but Sunoco's offering so much money. Okay, we gotta take the we gotta take the money. We need money. <laughs> Given the situation we find ourselves in, we really need to um, uh, find some money in this situation. Okay. Uh, 3M is offering the most. The Sunoco 3M. Oh, Sunoco and Texaco. Okay. Just for the co just for the conflict, I need to have that. Sunoco, Texaco, come on. Show me Shell. <laughs> no, we got Lowe's, Coors Light, and Pepsi. Ooh, we can have the consistency of Coors Light. I like that. Sunoco, Texaco, and Coors Light. Very conflicted car. Alright, so, what does this button do? Anything? Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! Yo! We have the ability to make it good straight out the gate. Do I have enough money to do this? Oh my goodness gracious! The 41 truck is already really good. And we have a lot of money, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, we need to hire a driver for this. Um, drivers in red already have a cups contract and are unlikely to sign a full-time deal. Drivers in green are not actively racing in any series. Okay. Boston Reed has signed a cup? Shit. All the part-time drivers. Oh my goodness gracious. There's, there's really no one we can choose from besides Ward Burton. Come on, Ward. Ward wants 27,000 over two years. Um, yes. Welcome to the team, Ward. <laughs> Ward Burton's driving the Chip Ganassi Racing Truck Series number 41. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I don't have enough to upgrade him as a driver though, sadly. All right, well, this is, this is fucking blessed. This is blessed as all living shit, dude. Let's go. All right. Cool. Does it still cost a lot to upgrade? Yeah, I don't have enough money to upgrade the car. Okay. Well, I do have enough money to scout drivers. All right, let's find some drivers to scout. How about we scout Ryan Hemphill? Ryan Hemphill, he has done literally nothing. <laughs> He's 60, 60, 60. He's only 23. He's in the Bush series. All right, well, that was a waste of money. <laughs> Oh no, I can't manage my team. Shit. Uh-oh. Whoops. I have made a poor decision scouting this driver. Okay, truck series. Ward Burton, his first truck start is finishing 29th. That's kind of annoying considering how good the truck is. Derek Cope failed to qualify. That's also annoying. 
All right, well, let's go back to team manager. Okay, okay. So, problem. I've scouted a driver, and now the team management thing no longer exists. I can no longer manage my team. I don't know if this was done on purpose, but, um, hey. Next race. <laughs> oh my goodness, Bobby Labonte, dude. He is on a streak, and Sorensen finished fifth. What a chad. Oh my goodness, dude. We should be upgrading the Bush car. I'd love to if I could, if it would give me the option. And Kenseth has won at Atlanta. Casey finished fourth. McMurray finished sixth. Hell yeah, dude. We're already making improvements. And we don't even have a race note of Casey showing off. Maybe it'll appear in the race center. Tony Stewart takes home the checkered flag at Atlanta. Oh, that's the truck series. Sorry. Um, Tony Stewart had a strong run. Damn you. But you should mention Casey. He's, he's 20th in points. Come on. Um, can I really not manage my team? Okay, so for the rest of the game, I cannot manage the team because I scouted Ryan Hemphill. Whoops. Okay, let's save the game and reload and see if that uh, and see if that helps. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put the roster back in. We're going to go to owner mode. All right, so as it turns out... Hmm. Okay, so... I cannot load a save game. Wow, this is um. Mmm, this is a this is a problem. All right, hang on, we can fix this. Okay, so I've started out the year by immediately shutting down the 39 team. I gave Casey one one car upgrade, so he should be pretty decent for the start of the year. And I also maxed out the the 41 truck. So let's see if we can start a new season and see if anyone else is available. Ooh, Chad Blount. Oh, there's so many good drivers to choose from. Joe Ruttman, Scott Legacy, Shelby Howard, Shane C. Um, but you know who I want? Kyle Petty. Kyle Petty wants $15,000 over the next few years. I don't, I can't see where the, uh, um, I can't see his driver stats. I have to scout him before that. But if I scout a driver, my game breaks forever. So perhaps we don't want to do that. Okay, let's do Casey. I think Casey can do a full-time in the trucks. Oh, look at this. Casey also runs for Atkin Motorsports in the Bush Series. Huh, interesting. All right, well, that's good. He's got a full pallet on him this year, Casey does. He's going to be running part-time Bush, full-time Cup, and potentially full-time trucks. So, there we go. Uh, okay, sure. Welcome to the truck, Casey. That works. I mean, Ward Burden was a good idea, but Ward is just not who I'm looking for in a driver right now. So, let's do the truck race. Casey finished 29th. All right, so we're just destined to finish 29th. Despite having an amazing truck, we're just destined to finish 29th. That is fantastic stuff. Alright, well, that's annoying. Well, start the season anyway. Stacy Compton wins the Daytona Bush race. McMurray finished 8th. Oh, great. Starting over has caused Sorensen to completely collapse as a driver. And Jimmy Johnson wins the Daytona 500. Boo! And Casey did terrible despite him getting the upgrade. Uh oh, oh, we're doing we're doing Bush Series two now. Okay, now David Green wins this race. Casey finished sixth. Okay, okay. Ryan Moore is in the chance two eighty one. What a king! He gets fifth. Wow. Okay. Sorensen battles back to ninth. That's good. And Harvick wins at Rockingham. Okay. Casey nineteenth. He did not beat uh, McMurray in this reality. Okay. All right. So now we have a hundred thou. Let's upgrade the car again. That's definitely what I want to do. Very good. I do not have sufficient funds. Never mind. We are not going to upgrade the car. We are going to save some money and um, hope that I can... Because we got the um, Reese's Cisco Reese's number 41 Dodge in the truck series. I really just want to see some more truck races. I want to see how this car can show out. Sorensen, why? <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay, this race went okay. McMurray had a good run. Sterling Marlin is really holding us back as a team. <laughs> um, next race. Yes! 
Casey got the win at um, Atlanta in the truck series. That race got rain delayed to Monday, apparently. He beats out Ricky Craven and Johnny Sauter for Thor Sport. All right, all right, all right. There we go. We only got $7,000 for winning this race. Are you shitting me? Okay, Stewart gets the win here. Is Casey still in the 38? <laughs> Reed, why do you suck so much? How did we get more money from finishing 40th in the bush race than winning the truck race? Excuse me. What is this? All right, Cup Series. Ugh. Oh my God, we just we're just collapsing. The team's collapsing. Come on, guys. We need to we need to battle back. Reed, I. This dude was on a championship run in the previous reality. Jeff Burton wins at Darlington. Oh, double top 10. Marlon finally pulling his weight. Casey gets A. McMurray's sucking. That's annoying. Um, what's the points look like? Casey's 18th in points. McMurray is nowhere to be seen. Um, how are we looking in truck points? Casey sh rockets up to fourth in truck points. He could win the truck championship. And he's also 20th in um, Bush Series points, despite not winning one of the races. He is so good. I love Casey. Um, Paul Wolf puts Racing World on notice. Earns first Bush Series win after six starts. <sighs> what a time to be alive. All right, next Bush race, Mark wins. He's a leech, but hey, it's still a Mark Martin win. So, pretty base. Um, Paul Menard has won the Food City 500 in the one gar. What happened to... Is he in this car? Is this the part-time one car? The Bass Pro Shops number one, driven by Paul Menard, goes to victory lane at Bristol. Oh, okay. Well, at least Truex is winning in the Bush Series. That's good. That's positive. Kenseth gets the win at Texas. Mark Martin second. This game just knows how to really... Dig that knife in further. Okay, we finally have enough money to upgrade Casey as a driver. Okay, finally. Upgrade the driver. How's he look now? We've got... He's good at intermediates. He's good at flats. I think he's gained more points in short track, which would have been really useful to have before Bristol. I guess Martinsville could be coming up soon. Well, so much for all that money. <laughs> okay, next race. Casey wins. I guess that's just, that's just how it goes when you got a... <laughs> ridiculously overpowered truck. Beats out Mike Skinner and Dennis Setzer. Casey setting the world on fire. Okay, yeah, he's he's got it in Martinsville. Okay, can Casey sweep the weekend in Martinsville? No, he can't. Matt Kenseth. No, wait, this is a Bush series, sorry. I didn't know that there was a Bush series. Oh, this is Nashville, okay. I saw Ville at the end, and I'm like, wait. <laughs> Sorensen sucking. We really need to help him out. I've upgraded Casey. We should upgrade Sorensen next. Cup series. Okay, Mark won. That's good. Casey finishes 31st. Okay, I don't even know why I'm bothering at this point. Okay, Jeremy Mayfield wins at Talladega. Reed Sorensen finishes dead last because nothing I do matters. Um, Biffle wins at Talladega. Uh, McMurray was in the big one, I guess. Truex was in the one car. Thank God for that. Um, okay, Mansfield. Dennis Setzer grabs the dub. Casey just sucked for no reason. It's very, it's a rain and it's a rain and shine. When it rains, it pours, but when it shines, it's you know gl glistening. And Mark wins a leech race. Sorensen still sucks, and Rusty Wallace wins at California. We're just oh my god, we're all terrible, guys. Okay, we got a we got a Richmond Cup race that Mark has won. We're just oh my god, why do we suck so much? I can't upgrade anything because it's so expensive. I need to help out. I need to help out Sorensen. He is really hurting. I don't... I gotta upgrade his car, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a car rating of 87. Okay. Should I shut down this? <laughs> we might have to shut down this. Oh, but it's such a good car. Oh, no. This car is really good. We should make it full time. How much is that? I know I have insufficient funds, I'm sorry. Okay. Make part-time, full-time is 25, 250,000. We can, we can look to the future and make that car full-time and put Casey in it. 
Oh. Okay. Infineon 200 at Charlotte. That's very misleading. Oh my god, Casey. Why do you either win or lose? Why do you... Okay, well, I know. I know why you win or lose, because that's how races go. But why do you either win or finish in the fucking bottom ten? Okay. McMurray gets fourth. Sorensen gets fucking 17. <laughs> Fuck! Johnson wins the Coke 600. Casey's 15th. That's good, I guess. Okay, okay, another win. Okay, another dub. It's just we've got three wins and three top tens total. This is just... <laughs> The most jank season. He's seventh in points because he either wins or finishes 30th. Damn it, dude. And none of our drivers are top 20 in cup points. Great. Oh, that's phenomenal stuff. At least Sorensen's up to 18. Ugh, okay. Okay, okay. Just do the next race. Mayfield wins. Sorensen's just... Oh my god. Why am I even bothering at this point? Yes! Okay! Casey gets his first career win at Dover. Oh my god, let's go. Finally, all this investment is coming through. Johnny Sauter finishes third in the Phoenix Racing No-9. Oh. Alright. Yeah, we put the team in victory lane. <laughs> the next big thing. Yeah, Casey Mears is the next big thing. Where does that put him in points? Launches. Uh, launches us to 17th. I'm sorry about all the burping, by the way. Um, okay, so when I save the game... Okay, here we go. Okay, so here is... I don't know how to load a game. Um, KC1. Lol. <laughs> I don't know how to load a game, but I saved the game in any case. I don't know if that feature exists yet, is the thing. Okay, so we've got 91 thou. We've got... Um... We've got a strong team here. It's just, I need to make the Bush team, the Bush 42 full-time, and hire a full-time driver for it next year. And I also need to keep upgrading Casey as a driver. Okay, Harvick wins this. Okay, at least it wasn't 30th. That's good. Okay, Sorensen finally finishes ahead of McMurray. It's a Christmas miracle. And Casey finishes last. Alright, so much for the championship run. Setzer wins this. 12th place by Casey. That's not even that bad, all things considered. Um, Gold's Pumps, ITT Industries, 200 and Nazareth. That's a good run by Sorensen, at least. And Jeff Burton with another dub. Goodness gracious. Alright, where does that leave us money-wise? Not enough. Okay, another win. The fact that we get no winnings for these fucking wins... How many wins is this on the season for Casey, by the way? That is his fourth win. We still only have four top tens. Okay, it's a long season. We have plenty of time to get top tens. Alright, Casey 18th in cup points. That's good. That's good. Newman wins a leech win. Our Bush team is such garbage. Terry Labonte has won at Sonoma! <laughs> Was it a fuel mileage win this time? Oh, Casey, this is your best track type. Oh my god, Brian Vickers 6. You're kidding me. Dave Blaney 13. Nice. Alright, next race. Another truck race. The 92 is just blatantly overpowered, but hey, then again, so are we. Our Reese's Chip Ganassi Racing number 41 truck. We got third, though. <laughs> it's worth the same amount as a win, annoyingly. Paul Menard is just the future of NASCAR, I swear. He gets a win at Dover with Sorensen grabbing 12th. That's a good run. Elliot Sadler wins at Daytona. Mc oh, Casey, stop dying. All right, well, now it's time to upgrade Casey as a driver again. <laughs> Come on, dude, please. We need more points. Oh, he's such a great road course driver. He's such a good road course driver. Are there any truck road courses in this era? Guess we're about to find out. Brandon Witt has won at Kentucky. Seventh for Casey. That's all right. Next race. Elliot Sadler is just on a hot streak. He grabbed the dub at Kentucky. Ooh, McMurray finished second. Nice. And Sorensen finished fifth. A double top five. Finally. <laughs> a double top five in, in, the, in this series. And Stewart wins at Chicagoland with us being just mediocre. Okay. Chase Montgomery has won at Gateway. 
Another third. See, we're moving up in we're moving up in the standings. That's what matters. Stewart wins that. Soren's in eighth. Okay. And Greg Biffle in New Hampshire. Casey finished eight fifteenth. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. We almost have enough money to make a. I don't know, dude. Okay. Question. What should I do about this 42 car? Because it's 85 versus... Okay, 87, 89. It's, it's distinctly worse than this car. But these are both really good cars. It's, it's annoying that um, all the cars cost the same amount of money to upgrade across all series. Like, the Cup car should be 150 to upgrade, but, like, the Bush car should be, like, 100,000. And then, like, the truck could be 50,000. Um, hmm, we can make another truck team. That's going well for us so far. <laughs> Just the Chip Ganassi Racing Truck Series Powerhouse. That, that honestly feels like a good idea at this point. Um, yeah, shutting down that Bush car would only give me 250000 I'd be better off shutting down a cup car, honestly. We're kind of being held back, but then again, we're going to have to sign new contracts and all that good stuff at, a, at some point, so... You know. <laughs> you know. Um, so now we can see... Is there a detailed history yet? No. Not until this game gets further in, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, now Casey has four wins, and six top fives and seven top tens in the truck series. He also is still doing bush races, I'm not even paying attention to that, and he's also got one cup win and two cup top tens so that's good <laughs> great that's wonderful news all right david Rudiman wins in michigan that's not even that insane okay casey got second he let him he let him have it just let david Rudiman have a good race there truex wins at daytona this schedule is weird dude Sorensen got eighth that's good and joe nemechek wins at pocono <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, we're just not getting any money from this. We're so poor. Okay, Casey is shot to the top of the standings by almost a full race. That's good. Finally. <laughs> that only took all season. Um, then he finishes fourth in the next truck race. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, McMurray got a dub at Chicagoland. Looky there. Looky there. Okay, that's good. Um, and Sadler wins. Elliot Sadler will kiss the bricks. Sure. All right, that works. Um, Rusty Wallace driving his own car gets the win at New Hampshire. Bobby Labonte with a dub at the Glen. Finally, Casey does good at a fucking road course. <laughs> Thank God for that. Craven gets his win finally, and Casey gets fifth. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sorensen got a 8th place finish. Where is he in points? Sorensen is 11th. That's pretty bad. He is 1,000 points behind Carl Edwards. Okay, well, that's normal, actually. We'll call that normal. Um, Casey, 14th. All right. Okay, we're doing really good in trucks now, and I can finally afford to make the uh, 42 Bush car full-time. So, oh. That was only... Um, that was only 50k. All right, so the um, the amount of money lies. <laughs> the amount of money lies. So that carries over from the original auto sim. So sometimes it does cost that much, and sometimes it doesn't cost that much. Very cool. Can I upgrade the driver here? No. Um. Can I upgrade the car? Insufficient funds. All right. Well, in that case, I'll just go to this next race. Ooh. Double top 15 for that. Um. Oh my god, we died at Bristol. Oh, that's not good. Had a solid day ruined by a pit road speeding penalty. That's what put him back. That's what put him back to 30th. God damn, dude. Alright, this bush race is... Ooh. Oh, we're doing so good now. Okay, making this second car full-time has been the best decision thus far. Okay, upgrade Casey's car. That puts him to 79 and 84. Alright, well that's pretty solid. That puts him dead last in the next race. Perfect. That is fantastic stuff. Second place for Casey at Richmond. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, Bush race at Bristol. Good run for Sorensen. Okay. Well, did the fucking 42 miss the field? 
Make the car full time, and that does nothing, apparently. Ugh. Casey, for fuck's sake. How much money do I have to put into you? Alright, so... Maybe I upgraded the driver on accident. Can I... Alright, well, that's, that's unfortunate. Alright, so I guess maybe I wasted money on stuff that didn't happen. Whatever, dude. Casey got third, that's all that mattered. Alright, Sorensen, for God's sake, Sorensen. Why does it, why is it whenever I upgrade a car, it always makes them run like shit for the next few races? Like, it's predetermined, dude, I swear. Okay, Marlin, I have not even looked at this entire season, they just got 10th, so that's good. This truck team has been my best investment thus far, by the way. But, like, seriously, that's like, mm, some massive brain stuff. And I cannot believe that this 42... Okay, fuck the 42 car. Okay, forget about this garbage. If, if it's not gonna let me make it full-time, then I'm shutting it down. Okay, goodbye forever. Alright, that means that we can upgrade Casey again. More upgrading of Casey. Um, and I have enough money to make another truck team. Let's actually wait until next year to do that. Alright, we're just exclusively the 41 team in every series. <laughs> at this point. Upgrade driver. <laughs> Come on, Casey. He got fourth, let's go. All right, here we go. This is his championship next year. He keeps finishing second. Denny Hamlin in the 0-3 for Team EJP gets the win at California. Sure. All right, is Casey still doing bush races on like a part-time schedule? Maybe. No, Tyler Walker's in the 38, of course, obviously. All right, 19th place for Casey. That's an improvement from 41st. Jimmy Johnson has won a bush race at the Spongebob movie 300, so that's positive. They keep putting Tyler Walker in the 38. Once uh, Todd Braun sees Casey come back after all of his upgrades, he's going to be like, oh god, all these dubs that he's going to eat. Oh, never mind on the dubs. Okay, truck race, 23rd from Casey, that's unfortunate, but I'm sure he's fine in points. Yeah, he's fine in points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as it turns out, he's fine at points. Um, Sorensen's sucking. We need to help him out. We need to help him out. Um, okay. Denny Hamlin wins a bush race. That's normal. Sorensen six. All right, all right. Casey's doing nothing. Why is our team in the bottom of the barrel? And we keep finishing second to Mike Skinner. Okay. We can upgrade... Okay, how many races are left in this season, anyway? It's week 33, we've got a few more races in every series. I could probably afford to upgrade one of these cars. 77, 81, 77. Um, the 40 needs it the most. So, we'll give that an upgrade and see what that does. 80, 83, that's pretty solid. That is actually very solid for what I paid. Um, another good run for, well, not really, for... <laughs> Oh no, Phoenix, no wonder Casey sucked. Oh hey, we upgraded the, the 40 car and he's finally doing something with it. That's good, that's good. Eric Almarola for Morgan Dollar gets the win at Phoenix. Casey gets 8th. Um, Denny Hamlin winning at Darlington, normal. And Stewart winning at Darlington. Why does Casey suck so much? Ted Musgrave, Casey gets 9th. Um, Sorensen 31st. And Casey with an 11th place. That's... Better than usual. Oh, it's the end of the season. All right. So, unfortunately, Gordon has won the championship in the Cup Series over Newman by only a few points. I think, yeah, the chase exists, so that's cool. I don't know if the chase is going to change once we hit 2014, but I'm going to go with probably not. Our highest finishing driver in points is Casey in 23rd with his four top tens. But he did get a win, so that's good. McMurray doesn't even have a number. And where's Marlon? Marlon finished 29th. Ouch. Edwards wins the Bush Championship over Truex and Hamlin. So at least they put up a fight. And of course, we already seen it. Casey gets the inaugural Truck Series Championship for the 41 truck over Dennis Setzer. Good. At least one of our teams is doing something. Hell yeah, dude. All right, off-season time. Okay, so, who do we have here? Joe Tone Network is just presenting everything. Mark has signed a contract with Roush. Rusty Wallace is retired. Mayfield's extending. Kurt, Sadler, 
Vickers is extended with Hendrick. Sterling Marlin's retired. I was replacing him anyway, so. <laughs> okay, Terry Labonte retired twice. McMurray has left Ganassi Racing. I don't blame him. Oh, there's so many changes, dude. Look at this. We got some new teams. We got the 06 Roush Racing Team. We got the 20 Wood Brothers Racing Team in the Truck Series. And the 90 Everham Motorsports Truck in, yeah, in the trucks. Okay. So, I need a driver for the 41 car. Let's find a driver for the 41 car. Ooh, Blake Feast is a good pick. Boston Reed. Hank Parker Jr. Eric Jones, the other one. Tracy Hines. Oh, every one of these... Every one of these drivers in green are not actively racing in any series. I'm looking at these multicolored ones like, oh, I should pick one of these guys. But no. No, there's all these other drivers here. There's Brian Keselowski. Now we're talking. Daryl Waltrip! <laughs> the second retirement tour. Or the third or fourth retirement tour even. I don't know. Carrie Earnhardt's available. Mike Michelle Jordan's available. Truex is available. Oh my god, there's so many options. Oh, Hemphill's an option. I don't want to pick him. He broke my previous reality, so maybe not. Todd Bodine's always a solid pick. Oh, there's so many good drivers to choose from. I really want Blake Feast. <laughs> okay, where's Reed Sorensen at? He is our driver, right? He's not available, though, annoyingly. Reed Sorensen is not an option to move into the Cup Series. We should pick Paul Menard because he already has a Cup win. The legend. Robert Richardson. There we go. There's so many good drivers to choose from. King Keller. Jeff Green. Okay, we gotta go with Jeff Green. He wants... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That is too much money, my friend. Too much money. Let's look at someone else. Yeah, I'm looking at Boston Reed and Blake Fees here. Oh, my goodness gracious. David Rudiman's a pick. Jump him into from trucks to cup immediately. Oh, there's some there. They, I think they're all gonna want the same amount of money, honestly. Regan Smith, Mike Bliss. Okay, what does him? They all want sixty thousand a year. I don't have much to work with because I need to hire a bunch of drivers. Chad Blount. Yeah, they all want the same amount of money. Okay, let's see what I what happens if I try to sign uh, Blake Feast. He also wants. Oh, man. They all want the same amount of money. All right. Well, in that case, we could just pick... Um, we'll just go with Jeff Green, because that was the first one I was going for. So, Jeff Green to the 40. Very good, very good. Oh, that didn't even cost anything yet. Okay, cool. He's got terrible track stats. Great, perfect. Casey is still here. Um, That's good. I'm going to have to focus on upgrading Jeff Green as a driver. And the 42 car needs a driver. Um, did we lower? Yeah, we've lost a lot of car points. And pit crew points. That sucks. Yeah, we lost a lot. Alright, well in that case, hire driver. Um, who else could we uh, jump up into the cup series here? I kind of want to grab Paul Menard because he's got a cup win. <laughs> McMurray's already signed somewhere else. I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to run for uh, Ganassi anyway, especially when we're just shoving all of our equipment into Casey. Todd Bodine. Todd Bodine is always a good pick. Um, and he only wants 55000 versus, you know, everyone else who wants so much. He's in the truck series full-time, and racing full-time in trucks... While racing full-time in Cup has helped out Casey, so that's fine. His contract is... he's worse. Todd Bodine is worse than Jeff Green. That's annoying. Alright, well, let's take a look at this. Okay. Sorensen still has another year on his contract. We could replace him anyway, though. I did want to open up a second truck team. I don't really have much money. Well, let's go for it. New truck series team. Pick number 42 to keep up the keep up the uh, site. Uh oh. Oh, that's gonna cost a lot. Oh wait, never mind. I can get sponsors first. Hang on. Ooh, the FedEx truck. Nice. Um, secondary sponsor, Pedigree. 
And tertiary sponsor, Dow Chemical. There we go. And now it costs negative amounts of money to make this truck. So now we just go up to that, and now it's great. Set full-time ride. And yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we got two trucks, and now we can hire a driver for this. Oh, man. There's so many. Everyone's, everyone's hired already. So should we slap, like, um, Jeff Gordon in? There we go. My schedule forbids me from driving full-time in multiple series. I unfortunately must reject your offer. All right, sure. <laughs> At least he was cordial about it. There we go. So I'm guessing the full red drivers are going to say no to any contracts. Um, Daryl Waltrip's a good pick for the truck, though. That's that's for sure. Okay, let's actually get Hemp Hill. There we go. 17,500. Now we're talking. All right. Welcome to the team, Ryan. <laughs> How good is he? Not. The answer to that question is not. All right, perfect. He is... How old? Oh, we can't find that out. All right. We can only find that out when he's, uh... Well, let's, let's just continue to the next year. Okay. NASCAR News. Joe Nemechek. I mean, okay. Jamie McMurray has signed a two-year deal to Haas. What a decision that is. Oh, shit! Paul Menard went to Gibbs. Oh, god damn. What a move. What a move. Um, Eric Almirola to the two car. Danny O'Quinn to the Hendrick five. AJ Allmendinger to the eight. Oh, shit. Oh, there's so many good moves. So many good moves. Shigiaki Hattori has signed a two-year deal to drive the 49 J. Robinson Racing Ford. Okay. What's the truck look like? Oh, Eric Almirola to the team that Hamlin won in. Danny O'Quinn to the Bobby Hamilton Racing Dodge. Oh my goodness, Bobby Hamilton, dude. Bobby Hamilton has so much on his plate. Or, I mean, uh, what's his fucking name? Um, Eric Almirola, right? No, AJ Allmendinger. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Okay. And we got a bunch of new sponsors here. I'm not reading all that. <laughs> okay, team manager. We have no money. Can I find out how old this man is? Yes, he's 24. Okay, he's got plenty of years to not suck. First race of the season. Brad Keselowski wins at Daytona. That's cool. Casey finishes second. Casey back on his bullshit of finishing second every week. And Hemphill gets 33rd. All right, it's the first race of the season, man. It's all good. It's all good. We'll be better. Sorensen is continuing to underperform. And Dale Jr. wins that. Jeff Green finishes 29th, Todd Bodine 30th, but Casey, at least Casey's doing good, man. At least Casey's doing good. Um, Sorensen, okay, fourth, fourth, fourth place. That's good. That's good. Um, and then, oh, Jeff Green finishes ahead of Casey. That's not what I had in mind. Oh my goodness, Almendinger has already won. He takes the dub at Las Vegas. And Kenseth wins here. Casey 8th. That's good. Oh my goodness, dude. Earns first Bush Series win after three starts. I should have signed Almondinger. What was I thinking? I should have signed Almondinger, man. I was thinking about it, too. Okay. Hemphill finishes better than Casey. Which is annoying, because Casey should be going for back-to-back -back truck championships. Sorensen is so bad. Ah, oh, We're all so bad now. All right, I have enough money to upgrade a, a something, right? Yeah, I have enough money to upgrade a car. Okay, let's keep shoving money down Casey's car just to, you know, continue keeping things up here. His pit crew is top of the line. That's good. Next race. Oh, we get so little money from these events. Casey, uh, there's Paul Menard winning at Dar Darlington. His championship career beginning early. Boris said finishes 10th for Childress. Okay. Um, 31st. Good stuff. Ah, uh, we're so bad, dude. Another win for Almondinger. Casey Kane gets his first career win at Texas. There's an inversion of what happened in reality. Another decent finish for Casey, I guess. Oh, shit! Hemphill wins at Martinsville! Yo, I don't even need to upgrade you as a driver. You're just that good. But Casey is sucking. That's annoying. He's 20th in points after starting the year by finishing second at Daytona. 
Hemphill's already ahead of him in 10th. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, another win for Almendinger. Come on, dude. Harvick gets the win here. Casey got 10th. That's good. Oh, look at this! Casey got a win in the Bush series. It was for Atkins, which is not fucking brawn. It's not brawn. Oh, God. Well, that's good. At least my investments are paying off for someone. Ooh, the 38 sweeps Talladega. Not with the fucking driver, though, of course. Good run for Todd Bodine, I guess. Casey gets the win at Mansfield. Hemphill finishes 30th. Ugh, it's just rain or shine. Eric Almirola gets his first career win. Sorensen sucking. Another awful race for Ganassi as a cup team. We're getting money, though. I can upgrade a driver here soon enough. Another cup race. Eighth place for Casey. Brent Sherman has won at Charlotte. Casey finishes dead last. Oh, my God, dude. What happened to the truck, dude? Did it, did it just plummet and... No, it's gone up! The truck has improved in ratings, and yet we're sucking. Hemphill's destroying you in a 91 versus a 97. Damn, dude. Upgrade that car. Oh, it costs so much, though. Now the 42 team is... Okay, now we got equal pit crews, at least. Yeah, the Chip Ganassi Racing Truck Series powerhouse, dude. I swear. What other numbers are there to choose from? Can I find that out? No, I can't. I can't find out what other numbers are to choose from. I have to have enough money first. Alright, well, fitting. The second that I upgrade the truck, he fucking finishes in the 30s. Sorensen is just such mediocrity. <laughs> Casey got ninth. That's good. Uh, Jason Keller for Daryl Waltrip wins at Texas. That's a third place for Casey. That's good. What's truck points look like? Keselowski is unstoppable. He has seven top tens in seven races. Damn. No one on our team can keep up. Casey is 11th in points. Hemphill is 17th. I don't even... Sorensen's 14th. Casey is 20th in cup points. Oh, we're just sucking in the cup series. We got a great truck team, but not much else. Quick, upgrade the cup car again. <laughs> just do it, just do it. All right, Sorens and sucking. Steven Light for Penske has won at Pocono. Oh my God, dude, that's insane. How many career starts is that? 14 starts, oh. Bobby Hamilton wins here. We got a double top 10, that's good. That's good, Ryan Moore has won in the Bush series. And Gordon, oh. We're getting such little money. Okay, there we go. That's a dub in the truck series for Casey at Milwaukee. Rusty Wallace is just enjoying his retirement from the Cup Series. Just racing for Penske. Not even his own team. He's got Chase Montgomery racing his car. Oh, Kenseth wins there. Oh, why do we keep sucking? It's Sonoma. Your best track stat is, in, is, is, is road course is Casey. What are you doing? Tracy Hines has won for Thorsport at Kansas. That's realistic. He actually did race for Thorsport. What is going on in this game? Hey, we sucked. Oh, come on, man. For God's sake, Jeremy Mayfield gets the dub at Daytona. Jesus, dude. Keep upgrading, Casey. It's all I can do at this point. Boston Reed is driving for Bill Davis in trucks. Jeremy Mayfield is just unstoppable. This Evernham 79 is unstoppable. Where have we seen this before? Only a few select people are going to get that reference. Paul Wolf in the PPC 10 beats Casey, who gets another second place. Is anyone keeping track of how many second places Casey has in the truck series? Johnny Sauter gets a dub for Phoenix Racing, though. That's good. That's good. That's all right. And dead last for Casey in the Truck in the Cup Series. Why do I even bother upgrading your car? Why do I even bother upgrading your car? Uh, Edwards wins this. Oh my god. Okay, it's time to upgrade someone else's car for once. Swordson. <laughs> I'm upgrading your car. That was worth a fair amount. Good. 
Brandon Wick gets another win. Another second place for Casey. That has to have moved him up in the standings at least, right? No, he's only seventh. Fuck, he's 400 points behind the leader. Hemphill's 18th in points. That's, ugh. I need to upgrade him as a driver first, I think. No! Oh, this is terrible. Damn it, Rudiman, you failed. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, and Sorensen's sucking worse now that I upgraded his car. I feel like the same thing happened in the original auto sim. Okay, next race. David Reagan for Bang Racing grabs the dub. Hemphill gets a good run for once. Danny O'Quinn got his first career win in Bush. That's good. Oh my god, dude. We're so bad in the Cup Series. We're gaining no money. Okay, here we go. Another win for Casey at Bristol in, in the truck. IRP for Paul Wolf. And then Kenseth wins this. Casey followed up his win trucks pretty decently there. That's good, that's good. Daniel Quinn wins again. Oh, uh, why, Casey? Why can't you be consistent like in trucks? All right, Sorensen with a good run there. And we're just such shit in cup. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade you as a driver. Boom. That puts you up to... That did basically nothing. What a waste of money. Uh, David Reagan wins again. And you also didn't do anything in there. Sorensen sucks. Casey gets a win in New Hampshire. Probably on fuel mileage. He beats out all of Hendrick. Look at that. Get railed, Hendrick. Alright. Um, we got another terrible run for Sorensen. Ugh. Uh, okay, double top 10 in trucks. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. We're getting some more money at this point. Sorensen has been the biggest flop in, like, the history of this game, I swear. Okay, I can upgrade one of these cars. Okay, who's got the highest in points on this team? Not named Casey. Because I keep stuffing money into his car and it does nothing. He has a 100 pit crew, dude. Upgrade the car again, I guess. Up to 90. yippee ki -yay, dude. Alright. That was a pretty decent run for trucks. Daniel Quinn with another win. Ooh, Casey! Gets career win number two! Finally, utilizing the 90 car that I gave him. Good. That's good. And now he finishes third. Alright, finally. All it took was having the most overpowered car in the field, and Casey's finally doing something with his career. Oh, this is truck, sorry. Well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a win, but, you know. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, Shane Meal hits a win for Braun. Oh, there's Braun. It's the 32. That's right. Oh, cool. I just transferred this image onto my desktop. That was an accident. <laughs> hey, another cup win for Casey. Yes, dude. That's his third win in the season. Finally. All it took was just stuffing all the money in the known universe into this car. Okay, let's start stuffing some more money into other people's cars. Let's actually focus on Jeff Green, because he has two years on his contract, so... If Bodine sucks, I can just hire someone else. Hopefully I can get Sorensen up in a cup. Alright, mediocre race in trucks. Where are we in points? Fifth and sixteenth. <laughs> That's what I think of that. But I have closed... Casey has closed in. It was 400 points, now it's 300 points. He's only got two races to get up there. Keselowski's running a season of dreams. Another win for Johnny Sauter. Um, oh, cool. Casey finishes 34th. Great. Wonderful. Amazing. Uh, that's not helping us in points, Casey. Keselowski's moving up in the, in, the, in, the, in the Roush and the Bush series. They just opened this car. How's it winning races? Damn it, dude. Okay, third place for Casey. That's good. Crafton gets the win here. Oh my god, Casey. <laughs> Yo, Reed Sorensen pulls through in the final race of the season. He finally gets his first career win. Oh, yes, let's go. And he beat out Kislowski doing it. Oh, yes, finally, Sorensen. Fucking finally. <laughs> Thank you. My god. Okay. And then Casey finishes off there. All right. That, that works. All right. Final standings. Ugh. Johnson gets his first championship. That's annoying. Casey moved up to 16th in standings with three wins. Um, 
Next series, Matt Kenseth wins the Bush Series Championship. He had two numbers, and he got seven wins. Wow. He beat out Almendinger, dude. Look at Almendinger. He's so good. He's so good. And then Keselowski wins the Truck Championship. Casey fell to fucking fifth in standings. Good first season for Hemphill, though, considering he's, you know, got terrible driver ratings. You know, 14th is all right. 14th is all right, dude. I don't, I don't even care, man. That's all right. Okay, Mark Martin has retired. We can do that. We can change that. Casey Mears has left Chip Ganassi Racing. I'm sure he'll... Oh. Oh, he signed a contract extension in Bush. <laughs> okay. Hey, he signed a he, he signed a renewal with Ganassi in, in the Bush in Truck Series. I didn't even have to do that. Nice. Oh, Red Bull Racing's arrived. Michael Waltrip Racing has arrived. I wonder who's going to be in the 55. All right. So... Jeff Green is is returning to this car. We don't have to do anything here. Um, Casey is gone. We need to re-sign him. I have 170 thou. Let's find Casey. Casey. He wants 60,000 over two years. Um, yes. I accept this offer. All right, he's back in his car. That's good. I don't know when we get to change sponsors. We do not have a driver for the 42. What about here? Okay, Reed Sorensen re-signed in Bush. I wish he didn't, because I kind of want to move him up to Cup. And I can't move him up to Cup as a result. Fuck. Fuck. How about Almendinger? He is not interested in this ride. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> uh, pain! I want Almendinger. Why? Ken Schrader's available. Derek Cope's available. Hey, there we go. There's the one. There's the one. Oh, Mark Martin. Hello. Mark Martin wants... What's his uh, stats? Oh, look at this. He's full-time in trucks for Roush Racing in the 33. I guess 3 plus 3 equals 6, so I guess that kind of makes sense, but okay, whatever. Yeah, I want Mark Martin in the 42 Ganassi Racing Judge. Yes, give me that. Give me, give me shock treatment. Oh no, his driver stats are terrible. Well, uh, he's on the team in any case. Is his driver worse than Jeff Green's? No, Jeff Green's is demonstrably worse. Okay, I, I can replace Jeff Green. We can fix him. We can fix J the Jeff Green situation. Curtis Davis, <laughs> there's one. Landon Castle, he's not interested. Wow, all right. No one wants this car. Should we just shut down the 40? <laughs> Honestly, I think we should just shut down the 40. It's nothing but dead weight at this point. Sterling Marlin's available. Could put him back in it. Scott Speed? Oh, we take it. Okay, you take it. Sure. There we go. Hey, he's actually decent. Okay. All right, let's go, dude. We got to figure it out. All right, next season. This is a big year for Chip Ganassi Racing. Boston Reed has signed a two-year deal to the Roush Racing number six. Oh, Almendinger's at Phoenix. He really didn't want to have this car, dude. Fuck. Oh, my God, dude. Boyers for Kirk Shelmerdeen. Paul Menard is going to Yates. I mean, he even got a win at Gibbs. And then he left immediately. Castle's racing for Phoenix. That's realistic. Danny O'Quinn goes from Hendrick to the JD Motorsports Zero. Wow. Um, Michael McDowell has arrived. Brad Coleman's in the 16. Oh my goodness, dude. Well, in any case, Casey has won the season opener. And Hemphill got six. That's good. That's good. Next race. And, oh my goodness, Casey is gonna sweep Daytona. <laughs> oh my god, Sorensen did terrible. Oh, and he beat out a bitch to do it. You'll love to see it. Come on, Casey. Daytona sweep. No! Oh, Todd Cleaver for Richard Petty. The Petty 43 has got a Daytona 500 in 2007. With Todd Cleaver behind the wheel. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's insanity. Okay. Almirola is still doing good in Bush. Oh my goodness, Casey. He's the, the leechiest leech to ever leech. I swear, dude. 
Oh no, Casey could totally win the Bush Championship if we had him in a, in a second car. I can't afford to open a second car though. I shut it down so I could have more money for truck teams. <laughs> no. Oh, it costs so much to start a Bush team. Fuck. All right. You're kidding me! Clint Boyer wins for Kirk Shelverdine Racing, what? Why? No! David Starr sixth for BAM! What? No! <laughs> Fuck! Okay, uh... Casey is just leading the bush point, dude. Just take a look at this. Look at by how much he's leading this. Can we find out if he's running this 38 car full time or are they still gonna stuff fucking Tyler Walker into it? Uh, okay. No, let's read Sorensen, sorry. Um, expand driver info, okay. So Casey is um, full time in cup. We know this and he's full time in trucks, but there's no way to tell if he's full time in the Aikens number 38. And now we can, yeah, and now we got this. Yeah, now we got, now we got this here. So this shows which position they are in points, and then it shows the stats. Better stats than the uh, NASCAR Heat Evolution, anyway. <laughs> Probably better stats than NASCAR Heat 5, even. Okay, well. Jason Leffler has won at Las Vegas for Arnold Motorsports. Sure. Oh no, we are two years into this playthrough and everything is already a mess. Joey Miller for Orleans Racing grabs the dub in the Truck Series in Atlanta. Another win for... Is this his first win? In, no, this is his second win. In, oh yeah, because he was going to sweep Daytona, that's right. Okay. He gets it over Kelly Byers. Roush Racing dev driver Kelly Byers. Um, He's yet to get a top 10 in the Cup Series, by the way. Scott Speed is showing himself to be a massive gain for Ganassi Racing. Look at this, dude. <laughs> oh, God, dude. The car is so overpowered, and yet he's doing nothing with it. That's so annoying. I don't have enough money to open a Bush team. <laughs> I think it might be too little too late for that, though. No, he finished 13th in this race. Sorensen 6th. Yes! Okay, another cup win for Casey. Gets his first dub of the year at Darlington. Scott Speed almost made it a double top 10. That would have been awesome. Um, yeah, dude. I mean, at this point, just add Casey to the rotation in the 41. <laughs> He'd be able to do more. Okay, we're going to upgrade the 41. That puts it to 79.87. I have no money. Kelly Byers gets the dub here. Casey gets... Okay, he might be full-time in this car. Paul Menard gets another cup win. Ninth for Casey. That's good. Landon Castle got the dub in uh, that car. That's that, yeah. <laughs> See, I knew Landon Castle was gonna be one to watch. Um, Mark is just doing terrible in his car, by the way. I know I haven't really like upgraded the 42 like ever, but he's really struggling. <laughs> he is distinctly struggling. Next, okay, Ryan Moore gets a dub in the truck series. Hemphill is doing terrible this year. I don't know what he's what's wrong with him. I think Casey might be doing good in truck points, though. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah, Hemphill's all the way down here with his one top 10 and his 99 overall truck. Regan Smith with chance two gets that win. Casey third. <laughs> I'm not even invested in Sorensen's career at this point. I just want Casey to win the Bush Championship. And we did terrible in cup. Cool. Yo! What's Ryan Hemphill doing in the 39 at Bush? Why are Bush teams stealing all my good drivers? Well, good for him. At least he's doing good in A series. That's more than he could say for my truck. But shit, Brian Vickers wins at Talladega. His first career win. Casey got nine. Let's go. Danny O'Quinn continues to be a truck driver. That was a terrible race for Casey. That's ruining him in points. 12th at this race. He's probably still leading points, honestly. Yeah. Oh, no, he's not. Second in Bush or truck points. First in Bush points by 250-ish. 
And then you go to the Cup Series. He's, he's eighth. He's in the chase. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. Elliot Sadler wins in California. Um, we don't have enough money to do anything. Eric Almarola for MB2 Motorsports has won at Richmond. And Blake Fleece got third. Blake, oh my god, MB2 Motorsports showing out. The pace is unparalleled. Oh my goodness, I should have been MB2 Motorsports. Brad Kozlowski, he's extending his fucking points lead over Casey at this point. David Reagan wins for Bruco, that's based. Casey fourth. And Newman wins at Charlotte. Vickers second. That's all right right there. Okay, I have a lot of money. That is not enough to open up a Bush team, which is pointless, you know. Well, then again, I could get sponsors and we'd be able to, you know, hire people. Maybe we will save money for that. Brad Coleman gets a win. Cool. Oh, and Casey's decided that he does not want to win this truck championship. But Keselowski had a terrible race too. Oh no, that's blown this championship wide open is what it's done. No, what it's what it's what it's done is leave Keselowski up in the front and Casey has fallen fucking four spots. No, that's what that's done. At least he's still winning the Bush championship so far. And he's still in the cup chase. Alright. Next, Brad Coleman. Oh my god, Brad Coleman. The Hendrick Dev Driver. <laughs> Moving up in the world, dude. Moving up in the world. Another good cup run for Casey. All right. Good. Michael McDowell for Bobby Hamilton gets the dub here. Casey 13th. J.R. Patton for Joe Gibbs Racing has won the Funai 250 at Richmond. Okay. Sure. Ooh, Casey 3rd at Pocono. Brandon Witt has won another truck race. Casey, why do you insist? I want to open another Bush team, and yet you are making me- Your car is maxed out! Dude! Come on, man. Why are you sucking the- You are better, and the car is better, compared to last year, and yet you're doing worse. Why is that? You may ask. I may- I may ask. And I do ask. Landon Castle continues to show out. Okay, good run for Casey. Not really anyone else, though. Okay, I'm gonna go full balls to the wall. We are gonna double upgrade the Bush 41. And that puts it to 83.95. Holy shit. You better start winning races there, Sorensen. Hey! Casey got a win in trucks, finally. Keslowski finished seventh, though, so we barely gained any points. Bush race, Eric Almarola, naturally, Sorensen finishes 31st after a double upgrade. Good running trucks. Casey gets another Bush win. I haven't even been paying attention. Oh my god, my truck team finishes 1-2. My truck team finishes 1-2 in the Bush series, and yet none of them are running for my Bush team. That's amazing, dude. That's actually amazing. And he is still leading Bush points, and he has run every race so far, so that's good. At least Kozlowski's no longer leading the truck points. Got that going for us, at least. Steven Light gets his second career win. Fuck me. Um, good run for Casey. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Another win for Coleman. Ooh, Sorens in second. That's good. Steven Light goes two in a row. Sure. Paul Wolf gets a dub, and Casey decides that he does not win a win the truck championship. Michael McDowell for Biagi has won at Milwaukee. And Paul Menard gets another win. <laughs> oh, Menard, dude. Fucking Paul Menard. Okay, another truck win for Casey. That doesn't help him considering he finished 30 goddamn first, so he's only fourth in points. Look at this points battle, dude. My god. And Sorensen is 20th in Bush points. What are you doing? Casey is so good. Oh, god. He's up to fifth in cup points. That's good. Kelly Byers. Oh my god, Sorensen. You are not making a good argument for putting you in the cup series next year. Just letting you know. Kozlowski gets an oh my god Sorensen. Sorensen! What are you doing? Second for Casey. Brad Coleman gets another one. Oh my god, dude. Rudiman wins. Casey second. Again. He's not still fifth in points, and he still leads. Oh, Eric's closing. Casey, you got you can't. You can't just lay down yet. Oh, and he's second in points in trucks. He could get a double championship. 
He could get a double championship. That's another good run for Casey. Kelly Byers is showing out in the Roush number nine. Another win for Steven Light! Ugh! Okay, a good run in trucks. Um, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no! Okay, 14th. That's not as bad as I thought. It's, okay, Eric Almirola finished second. That is bad. That is as bad as I thought, actually. Okay, what the fuck are you doing, Sorensen? How many upgrades do I have to shovel into your car before you do something of value? My dude, please. <laughs> please. Okay. I don't know about opening another Bush team. I want to open another truck team is what I really want to do. I kind of want to shut down this cup car and just start over. I feel like starting fresh is honestly going to be more efficient than trying to upgrade this car in any capacity. Um, so we got... Yeah, so we got, um, yeah, we can open the Bush team for 300 thou. So, that's what we have right now. I don't even know if I want that. Um, because Sorensen's not doing anything in this maximum upgraded car, pretty much. Fine, let's just shovel more upgrades into it, I guess. Hempill has 69 for road courses. Okay, next race. Jeff Burton wins in Cup. Good run for Casey. Brad Coleman wins here. Sorensen is the most worthless driver in the sport. I'm putting him in Cup regardless. I'm sorry. I have to. Um, Nick Tucker. World famous racing driver Nick Tucker grabs the dub at Bristol. Casey 14th. He's. I think he might be falling back in the Cup. Ah! No! Okay, I gotta put one more upgrade into his cup car. Yeah, he's falling back there. 83.95, that's pretty good. Casey Atwood gets a dub, interesting. Fifth place for Casey. Um, there we go, finally, someone who actually does good when I upgrade their car. Unlike some motherfuckers. Stewart, uh... I am really sleeping. On, um, oh my god, we have the points lead in trucks by one. And Casey has 200. I'm really sleeping on, um, Scott Speed as a driver. We should upgrade the 40. Okay, we got fifth place for Brad Coleman. Casey is dying. Did he even enter this fucking race? Mm, great. That's a season ender right there. Shane Seed! has won the EA Sports 500 at Talladega. Casey got six. Oh my God, dude. Brandon Witt wins in trucks. A good run for Casey. Um. Oh no, Akins is dying. Fuck, dude, he had it. He had it. Okay, he's still got 100 points. And we're expanding our points lead in trucks. There's only a few races left. Come on, Casey, you can hold on. Oh, I forgot. We're also in the Cup Series. Um, am, it, how's Casey doing in the chase? Is he in the chase? Oh, he's fourth in points. Oh, but he's 200 behind Johnson. Ah, oh, shit. Truex, second in points with no wins. Come on, Truex. Rumors are swirling that J.R. Patton will move up to the NASCAR Bush Series in 2007. <laughs> Good. Good for J.R. Patton. Barney Lamar is one in the Bush series. Okay, Casey second. That's good. That's good. That's good. No. No. No, dude. Come on. God damn it, dude. Oh, no. Fourth place should be good, but O'Quinn's second in points, I'm pretty sure. Yes, he is. Oh, he's closing. Okay, I think Casey's got the Bush series locked up unless he fucking dies, which is possible. Come on, dude. Casey gets a win in Bush. See? 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 There we go. There we go. Um, fifth place for Casey. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, Kelly Byers here. Casey fourth. That's solid. No! Stop being so fucking good, Johnson. Okay. Casey just died in cut, cut points. Fuck, dude. Please, dude. Ah! Alright. I see how it is. Great. All right, that's perfect. Coleman gets the win here. Casey fourth. Stop winning, Johnson. Oh my god, Casey. 
Boston Reed got a truck win. That's good. Oh, cool. Casey gained barely any points. That's great. Um. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude. All right, we got one more race to go. Okay, Casey has decided that this is not not his chase. Fuck. Okay. Well, we have lost the truck championship. Kelly Byers has won this race. Casey might have just lost the Bush Championship too. And in the Cup Series, what a shock. Jimmy Johnson has won again. And Casey is just, he just gave up at the end of the season. Alright, cool. Sounds good. Yeah, he went from third in points to last in the chase. Truex also died. That's great. Where'd everyone else on my team finish? Fucking Mark 39th. And Scott Speed got 30. With four top tens. Not even that bad. But Casey did pull through for a Bush championship. It does nothing for me. Because, of course, this is not my team. And naturally, he does not get his second truck championship. He loses it by almost 50 points. That's, that's cool. That's really awesome, actually. I'm so super happy about that. Um, is there supposed to be content here? All right, I'm guessing there was supposed to be stuff there, but we just didn't get it. All right, Scott Speed returns. Casey returns. Mark, I'm sorry, dude, but, like, <laughs> I feel like it's not it's not happening. Okay, Sorensen, you need to stop being, on, being in the Bush series. First of all, you need to start doing good in the Bush series if you're going to be in the Bush series. Otherwise, I need you to start fucking doing good at driving. All right, who is available for the cup car? Let's... Logano's available. Oh, yes, Justin Allgaier's available. That's a better pick. I want Allgaier in one of my trucks. I need to open a truck. Oh, Billy Parker, now we're talking. Uh, um, Frank Kimmel, there we go. Is Sorensen available? No, he's not available. Why can't I put Reed Sorensen in the cup car? I just want him out of bush. I just want him out of bush. Okay, so here, let's let's try this. I want a new driver in my fucking bush car. Okay, someone else, please. Um, yeah, Justin Allgaier, wherever he went, he is no longer on the screen anywhere. There he is, Justin Allgaier. Um, actually, maybe you even want to put Ryan Emphill in there. Hemphill is, well, he needs, I think we'll have another year of uh, trucks for Hemphill. Let's try, where's Danny O'Quinn? <laughs> I need him. <laughs> He's so much better than everyone else. Oh, no, dude. All right. How about we go with... Just put Austin Dillon in it for the memes. Reed Sorensen already drives this team. Yeah, I know. He sucks. Okay. Let's accept that offer. Okay. Now Sorensen is a free agent, so I can put him in the cup car. There we go. He's not interested. All right. We might just shut down this team. Oh. <laughs> uh, how much money do I have? Oh, I have a fair amount of money. Okay. We finally got rid of the dead rate of Reed Sorensen. Now we got Austin Dillon in this car. <laughs> a lateral move, if you will. Okay, oh my god, pit crew 103, nice. Car rating of 101, very good, very solid. Oh my goodness gracious, I haven't had to renegotiate sponsor contracts in a long time either. I would really like to do that. I would prefer to do that rather than any of this shit. Okay, so Mark Martin's only getting worse. That's annoying. Okay, um, how about James Busher? He is not interested. Well, go fuck yourself, James Busher. How about we get Clay Rogers? Now we're talking. Bernie Lamar is making moves in the Bush series. Brandon Witt, he's not interested. Fuck. God damn it, dude. How about, um,. Uh... Will Billy Parker sign? He will. Oh my god, dude. This is a terrible decision. But you know what? Anything's better than what Mark's doing. You know what? He's better. Billy Parker. The auto sim devs have duly declared 
that Billy Parker is better than Mark Martin. Okay, we're opening another truck team. By the way, we're opening a truck team. Okay, we could be the zero, that'd be fun. 44 is available, 45, 51. Are, are there zero numbers available? No, there are no zero numbers available, that's annoying. So we got the 41 and 42. How about the 14? 14 is not available. 39 is available. That really doesn't, you know, jive with the number scheme that I'm going with. We have 41 and 42. How about 82 and 84? <laughs> 82 is available. Yeah, let's pick 82. Okay, sponsor for this truck. Taco Bell! Yes! Um, and Coca-Cola. Oh, all the healthy sponsors want on this. And Cabela's. What a combo. The Wombo combo. Taco Bell, Coca-Cola, and Cabela's. Fantastic. Alright, let's max this fucker out. Very good, very good. I still have a ton of money left over, honestly. Hire driver. Justin Allgaier. I want you. He doesn't want any money for this. Yes. Oh my god, yes. We've got Allgaier. We've got Allgaier in the 82. Oh, look at his driver's stats. Yes. Yes, dude. Let's fucking get it. Oh. Oh, now we're talking. All right. We're in a good situation. Okay. All right. We're in a great situation right now. Except for this. Except for the Bush team. <laughs> we're kind of hurting on the Bush team home front, but hey. I'm just glad that we don't have to deal with Reed Sorensen and his mediocre ass anymore. No Cup Series news, no Bush Series news, no Truck Series news, and we've got a lot of things that I'm not going to read. Casey starts out his season by winning here. That's good. Beats Boston Reed out. Bernie Lamar continues his championship winning ways. Austin Dillon is already performing at the level of Reed Sorensen. Where is Sorensen anyway? Did he jump to cup? Next race. Casey Kane wins this. Billy Parker, 26. <laughs> where's Sorensen? Wonder where he's at. Casey won the pole. What a chad. Casey getting the pole for the Great American Race. Kelly Byers wins here. Okay, Austin's starting to run like uh Tony Reigns has won for Front Row Motorsports at Rockingham. Let's fucking go, dude. That's a great... That's a base. Base, 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 base. Look at Austin Dillon already outperforming Sorensen. Sorensen was just dead weight. I'm serious, dude. I wanted to put him in the Cup Series, but he was like, uh, 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 I don't want to go in the Cup car. Uh. Casey, for fuck's sake. We're, you start out the season by getting the pole, and then you fucking do this? Upgrade your car, damn it. Paul Wolf is one in trucks. Allgaier has already got a top 10 going for him. Good, good. Regan Smith making moves. Austin Dillon, 17. Uh, Billy Parker, dude. Oh my god. Jeremy Mayfield wins this. Okay, Austin Dillon. Perhaps the Austin Dillon experiment was haste, hasty, if you, uh, if you would. No, no, oh my god, Billy Parker was the best finishing driver on my team this week. Keselowski wins here, Dylan did decent. Uh, we need more money, dude. Casey gets a truck win, normal, normal stuff. Austin didn't even do that bad that week, okay. 83-91, 82-97, 82 okay, we need to upgrade Billy Parker's car. Billy Parker is low-key actually probably going to be good. So we should uh, do something about that. Michael Waltrip has won at Martinsville. Speaking of Michael Waltrip, who's driving the 55? Eric Darnell. He's sponsored by Bob Evans. Very good. Okay. CC Racing has won at Talladega. Austin Dillon 16th. Austin's unironically actually doing decent. Okay, a good top 10 for Casey. Another win for Casey in the trucks. Look at our powerhouse team in trucks, dude. I love it. I love our powerhouse truck team so much. Oh, Eric Almarole is so good. Is Casey still running full-time in the Bush Series, by the way? Probably. I'm going to go with probably. Brandon Miller for Wood Brothers has won 
at California. And then another cup race. We're getting money, at least. Boston Reed wins the trucks. Another three top tens race for us. Landon Castle still showing out. I really wish we could have gotten Castle as a dev driver. Um, another win in trucks for Casey. That's 17 career wins in trucks for Casey. Oh no, Hemphill's being mediocre. How's Hemphill doing as far as driver stats anyway? 84, 92, 84, 69, 84. Versus Allgaier's 88, 86, 86, 85, 80. So they do have their specialties. But we do have a very nice, nicely balanced uh, truck team. Let's continue stuffing money into the cup car. I.e. the only cup car I care about. Because <laughs> I've had Scott Speed for a year and a half now. And we've done basically nothing with him. He's just kind of existed. And Dylan is so good. Steven Light is also so good. He just wins. Speaking of wins, Casey. How's truck standings look? Casey has a lot of points over him. He's fifth in points in, in Bush. We've got Allgaier third in points. And Hemphill seventh in points. Nice. As far as the Bush series, um, Austin Dillon 18th. You know what? That's fucking better than... <laughs> it's better than fucking... Sorensen was doing, and Casey is sucking in cup points this year. That's annoying. Aaron Crocker for Richard Childress has won at Richmond! What? <laughs> okay. First female Bush Series winner is Aaron Crocker. Alright, another truck win for Casey. It's just unfair, dude. He's just too good. We need to put someone else in this truck because he's just too good. I'm afraid that if I fire him from the truck, though, he's going to end up uh, going to a different team and, and, and retiring in the Cup Series from my car. And I don't want that. All right. Nick Tucker, once again, that's his second career win. Or maybe first in trucks. Ah, shit, Casey. Well, that's annoying. Brad Coleman gets fucking another win here. Eight career wins for Brad Coleman. My god, dude. Hey, Truex got a win. That's his first career win. Hell yeah, Truex. Good work. Another win for Casey in the truck series. Uh, he's so fucking good. I have enough money to upgrade the Bush car. We need to continue. I'm going to make Austin Dillon into a championship contending Bush driver if it kills me. He is 18 years old. The fucking prodigy. Gordon wins. Boo. Yeah, Justin Allgaier gets his first career win in his 11th, no, his 13th career win. Oh, dude! A Chip Ganassi 1, 2, 3 in trucks, the Taco Bell 82, the FedEx 42, and the Reese's 41. Oh, you love to see it. That's some good shit right there. And Casey wins the Bush race. Yo, come on, make it a clean sweep for this week. All right, I see how it is. Well, he got a top 10, so that's good. Another truck win for Casey. <laughs> Eight wins on the season. 21 career truck wins. Oh my god, dude. Austin Dillon is sucking, dude. I can't believe this. I cannot believe that an 18-year-old rookie getting into my car has done nothing but be mediocre. Just continue stuffing upgrades into it, I guess. More upgrades. That puts it to 84-100. Oh my god, dude. John Wood. Yeah, he's still sucking. Brandon Miller gets another win, you know, as you do. As you do with Wood Brothers. Oh my god. <laughs> Casey just can't be stopped. Oh, he's too good. 16th for Dylan. Ooh, 6th place for Scott Speed. Casey's just sucking ass in Cup this year. My god. He is not in the top 20 in points. That's rough. But he is 2nd in Bush points. Looking for another championship there. Speaking of championship, Jesus. Um, do I want... Well, I really can't do anything, but what can I do at this point? His car is upgraded the max. He's got really good driver stats. Well, his picture is upgraded max in any case. The 42 isn't even lagging that far behind at this point. We really just need to upgrade Austin Dillon as a driver, but he's only 18, so he should do that naturally. Don't need to waste money doing that. Good run for Casey, that's good. Another truck win for Casey! Gets it over Allgaier. 
which is, you know, annoying, but hey, it's another Casey win. So, <laughs> can't really complain too much. Fifth place for Casey this week. Algar got his win over Casey, fucking beating the powerhouse himself. That's impressive. Hemp Hill is really the one that's disappointing me the most at this point because Hemp Hill's got a 100 103 versus Allgaier's 95 95, and Allgaier is just kicking his ass. Andy Lally in the Fitz Bradshaw number 14. That's pretty sick. I'd be okay with that reality. We're just shit in the Cup Series. I hate it. Eric Almarola with his second career win in the Cup Series. Um. I got some money to stuff some upgrades into a car. We all know which car it's gonna be though. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's only three points. $150,000 to upgrade your car by three points. Well, that's another win in any case. Keller, 25th for Austin Dillon. Does he have a single top 10 yet? He's not even on the fucking front screen. Maybe I should upgrade that car a little bit more. <laughs> A few more upgrades. What's a few more upgrades? You know, that's that's what I'm thinking. What's a few more upgrades on that number? Fucking yeah, he's he's sucking. Come on, <laughs> come on, Austin. Oh, right, wrong 41 car. I have a lot of 41 cars. Okay, let's actually yeah, let's wait to upgrade him as a driver instead. Do 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 do. Oh, there we go. Hemphill got another truck win. There we go. Finally another truck win for Hemphill. Now we're talking. Uh, 40 dead last. Uh, mediocre. Another truck win for Casey. 12th win of the season. <laughs> Good. I'm happy. Okay, we'll upgrade you as a driver. What does that do? 68, 84, 70, 69, 68. I feel like we have done very little. And you finished 18th, so that's better than, you know, what I assumed would happen. Casey is 5th in truck oh, bush points. Ooh, we're 1-2 in truck points. And Hemphill's almost making it 1-2-3. And we're still sucking in the Cup Series. We got nothing in Cup, except for Casey. Ryan Moore got himself a win. Casey second. Casey Kane got a win. Wrong Casey. 13th win of the season for... Casey Trucks. As you do. Oh, look at that! Seventh place for Austin Dillon. Hey! Hey! Boston Reed gets his first career win in the Cup Series. Kelly Byers is there. Um, another terrible Cup race for all of us. We got some money here. Justin Allgaier actually beat out Casey in that race. Let's look at another upgrade. 83... 88, 80. And then there's this, which is 84. Keep upgrading the Bush car. We are going to make Austin Dillon into a winner. Another Bush win for Casey. Another Kane win. Double top 10, that's good. Joey Miller gets, a, that's his second career win. Fifth place for Casey. That's kind of killed everyone else in truck points, annoyingly. Hemphill's just falling down the order. Allgaier is showing that he would be the truck champion in his rookie season if it weren't for Casey winning every truck race. Alright. Ah, uh, fucking Gordon, dude. Tenth place for Casey, that's good. Allgaier got a win in trucks at Darlington. Very good, very good. Ryan Moore got another Bush win. Ah, uh, fucking Johnson. Is that another championship for Johnson, by the way? Casey Kane is the cup champion with three wins! Nine top fives and 18 top tens. He just fucking came at him. Casey didn't win at all last year. What? He finished 20th in points. The pain. What a balanced season, dude. This was a average finish 13th. This was a great season for the fans, dude. Casey Kane. And the nine car wins in Bush, too. But it's with Kelly Byers. And it's a Ford as opposed to a Sh Dodge. And Austin Dillon was rookie of the year. All right, all right, all right. He finished 26 in points, but he's the rookie of the year. And of course, there's Casey Mears, winning 13 races in the truck series. <laughs> Casey, don't take it personally, but I want someone else in this truck. Okay, we still get no silly season. I think silly season breaks after a few years. Casey, please don't take this personally, but I'm changing drivers in trucks. To 
Tommy Joe Martins as an option. Trevor Bain. I like Tommy Joe. Give me Tommy Joe in the 41 truck. Matt DiBenedetto. Ken Weaver. There we go. Curtis Davis again. Oh, there's so many good options for drivers here, dude. Um, I really want Chad Blount to be successful. Colin Braun would be a good pick. Um, Michael Waltrip looking for a truck career. Parker Kligerman. Parker Kligerman's a good option. Yeah, that's an overall solid pick right there. Parker Kligerman. He wants just a little bit. Yeah, I'll take that. Now, he did not leave the cup car, right? Okay. All right. Fucking heart attack avoided. Heart attack avoided. Okay, as for the cup teams. Oh, no. The 70... Oh, God. The 42 just lost so many points. Man, I think we just need to shut down one of these cup cars. Scott Speed's looking good here. Fucking Casey lost 10 car rating points. Why? Game. Why do you have to be like this? Look at, he's a flat, he's 100 on flat track. Interesting, coming from a uh, IRL background. And then this car died in st statistics, but I think he upgraded everything by like at least five there, so that's good. Austin Dillon's moving up in value. Um, 135 thou. I can't even afford to do anything here. I can't even afford to open up a new truck team. As fun as that is, I love a, I love opening truck teams. <laughs> opening truck teams is my favorite thing. You know what I'm thinking? We should open up a bush team because we've got a bunch of drivers that are being home brewed right here. We got Kligerman in the championship winning truck. We've got Hemphill, who's you know not as good as Allgaier, but hey, he's there. Um, shit. You know what? We just gotta take what we got, dude. We just gotta take what we got. Why is the 40 so much better than the 41? Can I re replace, like, I can change declared points. I don't know what that does. Oh, this is, uh... Oh, this is for, um, for when, um, it changes. We don't have this yet. This doesn't exist yet. Just continue to next year. Okay, we're not getting any silly season news anymore. Oh my, but a lot of stuff happened down there. Okay, well, in that case, let's just go to the race center and see what the team situation looks like. Let's just go down to Hendrick Motorsports. Who's racing for them? Okay, Kyle Busch in the 5. Jeff Gordon in the 24. Okay, Johnny Sauter in the 44. Brad Coleman remains in the Bush car. Okay, that's pretty normal. That's pretty normal. Let's check out Roush. What is Roush doing? Matt Kenseth, Kurt Busch, Carl Edwards, Brad Keselowski. Oh, they shut down the... No, wait, they're, they're Bostonary. Okay. I was about to have a fucking heart attack. They shut down the six car. Mark Martin continues to race in trucks, and he does nothing. He's got one win. Because <laughs> his driver ratings keep fucking plummeting. Look at this. He only did a few races. He's not even full time. Mark, what are you doing? Yeah, where's, uh, what's his name? Kirk Shelmerdine Motorsports. Yeah, with Boyer with his one win last year. Or a year at some point. Well, that was two years ago. Damn, dude. Wow. And they had Boyer in, in here too. Fuck. Okay. Or that that is Boyer we're looking at. Okay. Um, history. We can see the um oh we got uh, all the standings here, but where do I find like the all time wins leaderboard? Under drivers? Because we can just look at our drivers here, so let's just see what we've done with Casey so far. So here he is. He's no longer in trucks. No one picked him up, I'm surprised. He's got 26 career cup series wins. Good lord, dude. Yeah, that's what we really need, is that on this page, we got most wins in a season. So, yeah. It's Casey with his fucking fat 13. What we need is an all-time wins leaderboard. I don't know how hard that would be to make, but hey, if you're still watching this video, you're obviously looking for something. Ryan Hemphill wins the champ, or first, well, hopefully the championship, but the first win of the season goes to Ryan Hemphill. Bernie Lamar continues his strange greatness by winning at Daytona. Eric Darnell for Michael Waltrip has won the Daytona 500. Uh-oh, the 42 missed this race. Okay, so remember when I said that we were going to shut down the 42 car? Um, yes, we are shutting down the 42 car. 
and we are going to spread the wealth equally amongst all of our teams. Yes, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. All right. Let's save some money and open up a second bush car. I think that's what we're going to do. J.R. Patton gets the bush win. Newman wins here. Oh, no. We're shutting down our cars. Casey won here. That's good. Jeff Burton wins that. Uh, oh, no. Our team's dying. Casey's leading prowess is not helping out in this series anymore. God damn it, Casey. Mm. No, no more Johnson wins. Please, make it stop with the Johnson wins. Austin, what are you doing, dude? Okay, Casey, seven. That's all right, that's all right. We got 316,000. That's good. That's good. That's really good. I'm really happy about this fact. Yeah, you got a 77 car, dude. Come on. Upgrade the car twice, I guess. That shoves us back up to 83-100, so that's pretty decent. Casey wins this race. Austin Dillon second! Okay! We're recovering! The recovery begins. Oh, Hemphill gets a truck win. Oh, look at this! So many good finishes. Brandon went 27th for Dillon. Fuck. Sk fucking Boston Ring gets another win. Eric Almarola wins here. Good. Newman wins here. Not good. Coleman. Oh, Kligerman, dude. He's sucking. Hemphill's leading truck points. Allgaier's fifth. Kligerman, six. Okay. That's decent. Atwood wins here. Dylan, ninth. All right. Shane Sieg is still on Joe Gibbs Racing and gets his second career win. Ooh. Todd Cleaver gets his second career win at Richmond. Yeah, if you'll recall, he's a Daytona 500 winning driver. Ryan Hemphill has his third win of the season already. Light gets a win in Bush. He is still a cup driver, though, so, like, that really doesn't say much. KC has finally gotten... Oh, he's got his fucking Coke 600 win. Let's go. Scott Speed did terrible. All right. Well, we're going to need to upgrade Scott Speed. No, we don't need to upgrade Scott Speed. Look at this. His car is great. Casey's car is way, way worse. Okay, we need to upgrade Scott Speed as a driver, I think. Oh, Kligerman's dying. It's his first season. It's Kligerman's rookie year. We can we can excuse that kind of stuff. Speaking of which, what's his uh, driver stats? Oh, no, we can't excuse it. He is fucking hundreds across the board. Kligerman. He's 18. See, this is what I meant when I said that I had the old stat, the old, uh, oh, Allgaier won. The old, um, um, rosters. I had it figured so that, um, people wouldn't be overpowered the second they get turn 18. They'd take a lot longer to get good. But, uh, yeah. Casey's doing alright this Cup Series season. Let's see where he's at in points. He is not on the first page. That's fucking concerning. Oh, no, there he is. 16th. That's, okay, that's pretty easy. Allgaier gets another truck win. He might be closing in on the points lead at this point. Yeah, he's got it. Two wins. Oh, one, two, three in the truck standings. Even Kligerman who's sucking. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, speaking of sucking, Austin just is incapable. All right, I have enough money to open up a Bush team. And I feel like that's what I want to do. So let's open up. A new Bush Series team, 300,000 minimum, but... Oh. Oh. Um... Okay, I guess I have insufficient funds, actually. Never mind, we'll wait a little longer. Klingerman got his first career win at Kansas, that's good. After everyone else sucked. <laughs> Great. Robert Richardson Jr. for Peace PPC Racing! Has got the win, his first career win, and his 86th start. Wow. Brandon Miller has so many wins. Another Allgaier win. Never a bad day when it's an Allgaier win. Um, another good run for Austin. Um, KC 11th, that's alright. Okay, 400,000. Is that enough to open a Bush team? Yes, okay. We need a new car. Okay, so I know that we're supposed to be like the 40, 41, 42, but we shut down the 42 in the Cup Series. 
So maybe let's focus on the number 40. It was bad luck. 42 was bad luck last time we had a car, so let's get mobile one or Valvoline. Oh, damn, the oil wants me. I want, I want, I want, I want Valvoline. I want Valvoline. Ooh, Kellogg's for 250000 Wrangler jeans. What a weird car. All right, it's $50,000 for each of these. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna jump this car immediately to the best that it could possibly be. Nice. All right, the 40 car has entered the fray. <laughs> it needs a driver. Who wants to make some some bush starts? Matt De Benedetto, you want to run? Can I move up a truck driver? Ryan Hemphill deserves this, by the way. Oh, Ryan Sings available. Um. Um, yeah, just shutting down a car and then opening a new one and getting all the new sponsors, that appears to be the most efficient way to actually build your team up. Because the sponsors just give so much money. He wants $32,000. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. I don't care. Alright, Matt Benedetto has joined the team. <laughs> the Chip Ganassi Racing number 40. Valvoline number 40 for Matt Benedetto. And the Chip Ganassi Racing discount tire number 41 for Austin Dillon. <laughs> what a time to be alive. And Allgaier gets a truck win. Good. Okay. De Benedetto's first career start is 26, but Austin's looking good. Austin knows he's got competition now. Austin's got competition. He needs to step it up. Oh no, we didn't win a truck race. What is this garbage? Boo. Oh, it's Kelly Byers. That's his first truck win. Damn, all right. Oh, De Benedetto comes slamming out the gate with a fourth place finish. Truex gets his second cup queer. Career win. Good. Good. Cup queer win. Oh my god, they're sucking. David Reagan's moved to second in points, dude. Hemphill, this was your championship. What are you doing? Landon Castle gets his fifth career win, dude. My god. And then Stewart wins the Brickyard. Stewart kisses the bricks. Chase Montgomery still is on this team, and that's his first win in this team. Matt Benedetto is already showing out versus uh, um, Austin. And Kyle Busch has his second career win. It took him a long time to get his first. And Casey got fifth. Brandon Witt. Uh, I'm getting scared about our championship hopes. Another win for Landon Castle, dude. He's so good. He's so good. We got a lot of funds suddenly. Um, do I want to focus on... Okay, where are we at in points and cup? We are 10th. Hey, we're in the chase. For now. I need to upgrade the car again. Upgrade the car, please. Okay. All right, next race. Joey Miller wins in trucks. Kligerman sucks. Uh, our Bush team is mediocre. Casey finished 8th. That's all right. Matt DiBenedetto gets his first career win in his seventh start. That's all right right there. He gets it done in Michigan because the car is overpowered. And Kenseth finishes there, 19th. Tracy Hines gets his second career win. Casey gets... He's still racing full-time in Bush, by the way. Casey's still racing full-time in the Bush series. He is third in points. Not really that close to Kelly Byers, who I think is a full-time cup driver. On top of being a full-time bush driver. On top of being a full-time truck driver. Oh my god. The fucking palette for Kelly Byers is filled. Alright. Um, yeah, we still need... Okay, I wanna, I'm want i going to save my money to open up another cup car again. Casey 21st. That's annoying. Kligerman got a win. That's his second career win. Hemphill did good. Allgaier died because of course... Uh, he's still got a pretty solid points lead, so that's good. David Reagan got another win. That's his sixth career win. Damn. Brendan Gone in the number 91 Evernham Motorsports Dodge gets his first career win at New Hampshire. DeBenedetto has a second win. Okay, Matt is clearly superior to Austin. We have found the future driver of the number 42 cup car. The new and improved 42 cup car. Hempfield got a good win, though. That's good. DeBenedetto with another win. Earnhardt gets a win there. Eric Darnell is racing for Billy Ballew. 
Baloo, I'm sorry. I can't fucking pronounce words. Casey is dying in cup points. I think he missed the chase. Yeah, he missed the chase. Son of a bitch. But he did win in Bush, so that's good. Stewart. Uh, why do we suck so much in the Cup Series? Another win for De Benedetto. Isn't he 18? 17! What? He shouldn't even be allowed on track, and he has three wins. The fucking prodigy. Landon Castle gets another win in Bush. Stewart. Kligerman, that's good. Really good run for a truck team. Another win for De Benedetto. Casey got ninth. Kligerman gets a win. Michael McDowell for Biagi gets a win. Oh my goodness gracious. We have $600,000. Do I have enough money to start a new cup team? No. Well, that sucks. Hemphill gets a win there. Smith. And Earnhardt wins the final race of the season. So, that's a, another championship for Stewart. That's only his second. Casey got 11th in points, so he battled back. He battled back after missing the fucking chase. Uh, Kelly Byers wins that championship. Justin Allgaier is the one that grabs the truck championship. He gets it over Kligerman. Ryan Hemphill is really not performing up to the level that I would like him to. But we're still going to keep him on the team. Don't worry. Oh my god, 93 car rating. What is fucking Scott Speed doing? His car is rated 93 and he's not even fucking winning. Oh no, and the 40 car has lost everything. My god. Dude, the fucking 40 car was 91 car rating and now it's 77. What? Uh well, at least our trucks are really good. 104 car rating for Hemphill. My god, dude. Oh, Allgaier is so good. Allgaier is so good. Oh, I don't have enough money to open up a new cup team. Okay, we're just gonna sim this year. We're gonna sim the entirety of 2010. So, Danny O'Quinn gets the win here. Uh-oh. What just happened? I clicked the wrong button, that's what happened. Landon Castle gets that win. And Boston Reed gets that win. Okay, we're going to run this entire season and just see what... Okay, I have a million dollars now. Okay, let's see. Okay, final here. Oh, my, hello. Oh, Casey got fourth in the race. Oh, this is the final race of the season, sorry. Newman gets the championship in 2010. Scott Speed made the chase. Casey is 22nd with no win. Scott Speed got four. Holy shit. But he did manage to get the Bush Championship. That's good. De Benedetto did not get any wins. Um, Austin Dillon finished 31st. And Kligerman gets the championship over Allgaier. Damn, dude. They're just showing out. Hemphill had the best truck and still finished fourth in points. Wow, okay, I have enough money to build a fucking cup car. All right, let's do that. Let's do that before we do anything, okay. Cup Series team, gonna reopen the 42. It's back, baby, back new and improved. Holiday Inn up on the hood, yeah, baby. And we also got Win dixie That's some good stuff, and Wrangler jeans again. Let's get Charter instead, all right. So I have plenty of money make this the most powerful car in our fleet. Let's just do it like that. Yeah, I got extra money here. See, yeah. This is much more matched up to the rest of my cars now. Okay, we can hire a driver for this car. Um, what if I hired a second driver for this car? Danica Patrick's available. We could put Casey in it. <laughs> put Casey in it, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Solve, that's the way that I've solved all my problems this entire playthrough, is just putting Casey in. I kind of want Danica. Just the thought of it. The thought of it is too good. If I put Danica in this car, does that give me... Yeah, that makes Benedetto part-time, and then I can put him up in the Cup Series. Yeah, okay. Accept offer. She doesn't even want to get paid. Sure! Alright. Yeah. So now, oh no, the car is in not good shape. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we can put the Benedetto up in this car, right? That, I, if I read between the lines, this is something I can do. 
Yes, we can do this. Okay, so this is what I should have done. This is what I should have done with, uh, with Sorensen. I still don't know what Sorensen's doing. We have to start the new season before I figure that out. Okay, we need to upgrade this car. Oh no, we need to upgrade this car. Upgrade. Oh, that bit, that, that, that did barely anything. Oh no, we have no money. How's the trucks looking? Okay, the trucks are managing to keep themselves in good condition. That's positive. That's a positive thing. They're keeping themselves in good condition. You know what, honestly, it would be more efficient to just start a new fucking truck, or bush team. Okay, Danica Patrick. Yeah, we just we should just shut this team down. We should just shut this fucking team down and start over from scratch. Okay, goodbye to that team. Alright, so we got a new Bush series team. We are going to make it the number 42, just for consistency's sake. The 42 is back across all series. Microsoft is going to sponsor this one. And Aaron's. Oh, that's a lot of money. And Aaron's again. <laughs> Aaron's just shoveling money down our throat for this Bush car. We can make it full on really good. Start full time ride. So that is our new Bush car. We can hire a driver. I got Danica Patrick for free, and now Danica doesn't want to drive for me. Well, I kind of, I kind of get it. Ooh, Grant and Finger, Jeremy Clements. Oh, there's so many good drivers to choose from now. Ryan Priest, Shane Hall. It's first I've seen a Shane Hall. Oh, should we really make this a nepotism team? Oh no, dude. Oh no. Oh no. Alex Bowman. There we go. There's a good pick. Corey LaJoy's an option. David Green, though, eh? I really want Danica, and now I can't have Danica. This is pain. I am sad. Alright, well, in that case, let's do... Do, 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 Yeah, let's have the nepotism team. Yeah, he wants it, too. Can you believe that? Alright, so, um... This car, we need to do the exact same thing. We just shut out, shut down the team. Just shut down the team and start fresh. That really is just the way to do this. Okay, new 41 car. US Marines, sure. And Supercuts, sure. Oh, Best Western would've been great. Oh, US Marines again. Let's do it, all right. Okay, and now we'll have a really good car again. Very good, very good, all right. Start full-time ride. And am I able to get Austin back, or is he gone forever? Yeah, Austin's gone forever. Okay. Well, that's a good way to delete someone from the game, you know? It's just, if you don't want someone anymore, just fucking delete them from existence. And I can't put Casey in this car, sadly. I could put him in the other car. Maybe as a part-time driver only, I would have, been, would have been able to do that, but, yeah. I'm not allowed to. Oh, I could put Allgaier in! Okay! Yeah! Welcome, welcome! Hey, he's moved up! Ty Dillon in the 42. Hey, it's fitting. It's fitting. Did he get the truck championship, by the way? Yes, he did get the truck championship. Oh my god, dude. He's ran three truck seasons. Man, I'm surprised that he didn't want to move up faster. Okay, well, can we fucking put someone else in your truck then? No, not that truck. This truck. Yeah, here we go. Could I hire a second driver? Or just shut it down. Or we could just leave them in. You can just run trucks and cup. Or bush, I mean. Look at all this money. We can finally stuff some money into these cars. Yeah, Matt DeBenedetto on the Holiday Inn number 42. Come on, Casey. This is your season. I'm upgrading you to max. Oh, why do you barely gain anything from this? 94 car rating. This is his year. It has to be his year. Okay, we still don't get any news. Sean Murphy, world famous Sean Murphy gets that win there. Hemphill continues to disappoint. Andy Lally, this is the year of the 14. Oh no, our entire team is shit. Jeff Burton gets the Daytona 500 win. Scott Speed third, Casey 17th, DeBenedetto 20th. Andy Lally is so good. He's so good. What's his driver ratings? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. Let's hire a second driver for this car. Jamie McMurray would maybe come back. Little Jamie Baby. Who do I want to be part-time in this car? Can I put Hemphill in this? Just kind of let him get his feet wet in the Bush series? Yeah, 
There we go. See how he does. Okay, run a race. Bush wins. Scott Speed second. Scott Speed, ladies and gentlemen, is <laughs> just so much better. We've just got the open wheel rejects team with featuring Matt DiBenedetto. <laughs> McDowell wins. We should get McDowell. Then we can be the true uh, mediocrity here. Why are they so bad? Why is the Bush team such shit? Yes, Casey finally gets another win. It's been years since Casey's gotten a win. Coleman gets a win here. All guy are sucking in his part-time season in Bush. Oh no, never mind. He's got third. Third place. Scott Speed gets his fifth career win. De Benedetto's making some good runs too. Alright, the Bush team is starting to slightly improve. Casey gets another win. That's good. Paul Wolf with his fourth career win. Why does the Bush team always suck so fucking much? 95 car rating, dude. What are you doing in this car, dude? Oh shit, I just realized- No, wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. I, I, it's Hemp Hill in the 42, not Allgaier in both the 41 and the 42. Upgrade the fucking car, I guess. I don't know what else I can do. I don't know what else I can do. I'm giving you everything that I can. The US Marines are giving you everything that you can. Scott Speed gets another win. Brandon Witt wins here. Fucking Allgaier got a top 10, that's good. Casey is unstoppable. This year, too. 2011 is the year of Casey. Very good, very good. Coleman gets another win. Allgaier sucking. Good run for Casey and Benedetto there. Okay, decent run for, uh, yeah, Allgaier. Casey gets third. Hemphill is winning in this series, but not doing anything in this series. Well, if he ever gets to start. David Gilliland for Labonte Motorsports wins at California. Okay, now Casey is finally starting to look like he did in trucks. Ooh, back-to-back -back Ganassi wins. I haven't even tried with Scott Speed and he's naturally become amazing. I've been forcing Casey into being being good and he's still not. Joey Miller for Aikens. The F Aikens 58, does that exist? Did that ever exist? Another win for Casey. His second Coke 600 win. Another crown jewel, and Kligerman grabs a dub. That's good. Paul Wolf grabs a win here. Stewart, Casey gets a top 10. Robert Richardson Jr. is racing trucks for Roush. <laughs> All right, whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. Good sixth place from Allgaier there. Casey Kane. Ah. Oh. Casey's leading points in Cup by a little. We've got Scott Speed there. Matt Benedetto is 18th. And as for Bush points, we're doing terrible in Bush. All guy are 17th. And oh my god. 5th, 11th, and 12th for trucks. What are we doing in trucks? Guys, you have a 103 rating. 104 rating. Clickerman's only got 95 and he's smoking your asses. Guys! <laughs> what am I really doing here? Oh, just keep upgrading the cars, I guess. Upgrade the Benedetto's car. It needs it the most. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, okay. They're starting to figure it out, I guess. Algar got his first career car brush win. Let's go. That's more like it. There we go, all right. And Casey gets the win in Michigan with his sixth career win, yes. Or sixth win of the season. He's doubled his career cup wins tally this year. And all guys straight back to 28th, great. Great, that's good. I am happy about that. I haven't even upgraded your car for a while. Yeah, dude. His driver ratings are good. Scott Speed's driver ratings are overpowered as all fuck. So are the Benedettos. And quite frankly, so are all guys. And you know what? Kligerman. Hemphill. Hemphill's not even that good. We need to upgrade him. He's got 107 on the pit crew. And Allgaier wins the trucks. <laughs> Allgaier second in Bush. Edwards. Ooh, that was a great run for our team. Do, 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 Another good run for Allgaier. Scott Speed gets fourth win of the season. 
Do, 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 do. Hemphill gets a win, his 11th of his career. Eric McClure for JTG Donnery Racing wins at Milwaukee over Regan Smith, over a real stalwart Regan Smith. Okay, I gotta go to work soon, so let's just leave it here for now. I'll probably come back to this save file if I can, you know, figure out how to come back to a save file. You know what? I can't even save anymore. I'm no longer allowed to save. I guess we're just gonna have to keep this open forever and hope that my computer doesn't crash. But let's just take, let's just take a gander. Let's just take a gander at how everything's gone for uh, for our drivers. So there's Austin. He is not in Cup. He has disappeared from Bush, and he is not in trucks either. So he's just gone forever, I guess. Casey has had a good career. He's got 12 wins in Cup, 17 in Bush, and 26 in trucks. Um, he's been driving for Aikens his entire career, and I can't really do anything about that. Um, Ryan Hemphill, we got him. He apparently has a Bush win. Did, did, did we notice this when it happened? When was that? That was 2007. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did it in Penske. Okay, sorry. He also has 11 truck wins. Okay. Then we can take a look at um, Allgaier. He's just come into existence, and he's already a legend. 14 truck wins over three full seasons. He has not finished a Bush season yet, but he does have his first win there. And there's also... What's his fucking name? Um, Kligerman. Kligerman we just hired. Uh, there he is. He's got 12 truck wins. Oh, man. Oh, man. But then there's been some, like, sleeper good drivers. There's been a Boston Reed. He's got uh, three cup wins and five truck wins. Raising for Bill Davis and Roush at the same time. Man, Danica... Danica has yet to be able to do anything because I kind of accidentally deleted her from the game. So that's my bad. <laughs> my bad on that one. Uh, Landon Castle has been a prodigy. He's got 12 bush wins. But anyway, I think you get the idea. This has been some more Auto Sim. This is Auto Sim 2. There is a lot more interactivity here. It is still slightly clunky, but I'm sure that it'll be good and just as good as the original Auto Sim in due time. So, in any case, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Comic Cousin Games playing some Auto Sim 2, and we'll see you in whatever it is that we do next. Bye!